you know, as investigators, there's always going to be certain cases that you remember forever. And, uh, you know, the Sharice Iverson case was definitely one of those just because of the dynamics of it. You know, I mean, it was a brutal, brutal, senseless murder of a little child. In May of 1997, seven-year-old Cherie Siverson was playing in an arcade in Prim, Nevada when 18-year-old Jeremy Strohmeyer lured her into a nearby women's restroom, forced her into the largest stall, then sexually assaulted and strangled her. You know, when I was taking his confession, he was just so matter-of-fact. Uh, he had absolutely no remorse at all. He described in, in graphic detail how he killed Cherie, what he did to her, what he wanted to do to her, and why he wanted to do it. After that, I wanted, I just wanted to leave. And uh, I noticed that the girl was still breathing, barely. I didn't want to leave her that way, so I, uh, I tried to break her neck. Can I ask you one question? Sure. Did you, when she was uh, having this labored breathing, did you consider trying to give her a little bit of CPR yourself and then take off? No, that never crossed my mind. Okay. He was very graphic about it. He showed me just how he positioned his hands and snapped her neck and, and trying to kill her like he had seen on TV. Strohmeyer's friend, David Cash, witnessed him covering Sharice's mouth and forcing her into the bathroom stall, but never stopped the attack or told police. Cash was never charged with a crime. We were very disappointed that we couldn't bring some kind of charges against David, and, and he flaunted it. I mean, he, he just, you know, there's nothing you can do. I didn't do anything wrong. It, I wanted to kick his ass just for being a jerk, but I couldn't do that. Six days after Sharice was killed, more than 200 family members, friends, and classmates converged on a South Central Los Angeles church to mourn the little girl and share their memories. In exchange for not suing the hotel casino, Sharice's father, Leroy Iverson, asked for $100, a room at the hotel, dinner for his 14-year-old, his daughter's funeral paid for, and some beer. After the initial investigation, after the arrest, I don't think that there was a great deal of interest in it or uh, the attention that this would have drawn be just because of uh, where she lived and, and on the circumstances of, of her everyday life. And, and that's a shame, you know, it's terrible. She was just a kid.